I like that one. That was that was fun. <laughs>what's poppin welcome back is we here with- were fortunate enough to be selected to give this game a shot before it's even released to the public so at the time of this recording i'm actually going to be experiencing it for many folks around the world i'm really stoked to share it with you let's dive in together eternal home floristry what's this all about hitman working at a flower shop while his injuries we are still surprised how we managed to build the game this well rounded in just seven. This is 72 hours. It could well be an additional episode for the Red Strings Club, but what makes this game extra special is that it features a milestone in our game making philosophy, adding creativity to the flower arrangement proved to be a nice mechanic, and it broadened our design sensibilities to the point that we're not only thinking about what you do, but also how you do it. And yes, why not about how pretty it is. Uh, this is definitely something you will see us exploring in the future. That's pretty cool. Right. Oh, okay. So we get some homophobia, ableism, and mentions of severe violence. Ooh. All right, here it goes. I'm a killer. A gun for hire. After taking that many lives, I thought I'd have run dry of regret. But none of those murders felt as bad as pulling out the flowers from Sebastian's garden. How are you holding up? Better. Getting used to being left-handed already. Listen, I feel bad being holed up in the back of your store. Can't you put me to work or something? Ah, don't worry. Just focus on getting better. Please, I need to keep my mind busy. I'll do anything. All right, all right. What do you know about flower arrangement? Not in my line of expertise. I mean, it'd be pretty impressive if it was for a hitman. Don't mind my injury. I can do heavy work. I'm a good repairman if you need. This is all we do here, son. I know it can be intimidating, but I'm a good teacher. This is the Eternal Homes Garden. There's only a few flowers left, and I'm afraid this will be the store's last batch since the soil is exhausted after many years. So pick them. Here. Click on them if you want me to tell you more about them. Dragon full of flower out. Add it. We'll use only three for each arrangement since these are probably the last ones in the city. The Aconite. Handle it with care. Some of them are poison. A poisonous flower on a bouquet? Are you insane? Well, these are not to be sent for... These are not to be sent lightly for them carry hatred. These flowers symbolize a threat, an ill will. I thought all flowers were meant to be nice. I told you, flower arrangement isn't for the faint of heart. The asphodel. Regret. Weakness. Death. Homer describes it as covering the great meadow, the haunt of the dead. Now these flowers aren't death bringers per se, but are associated with grief. Its fragrance allows us to connect with our sorrow. It can bring the toughest guy to tears. Pink Camellia. Cheer blushing powder. Love. Passion. Strong desire. Whoa, I can feel my heartbeat smashing my eardrums just by touching it. Ah, the lovers I conquered through these. The blue iris. Bringer of hope. Faith, wisdom, understanding. These beauties could put God on the good path. Add them to the bouquet to procure happiness. The Crimson Lupine. These ones, Gordon. These ones are the essence of tragedy. A bad omen. They have a presence, that's for sure. If you wish for things to go sour, make sure to add a Crimson Lupine.
Okay, time to put them together. Are you up for an extensive lesson on the seven crucial steps for flower arrangement? Let's do it. Let's listen. Let's listen to it. What is it? Are you insane? I wouldn't wish that for my worst enemy. Just go on and bound and do your best. You have all the potential for beauty. Drag and drop the flowers on the vase. You can pick any extra decorations you may want to add for my workbench. You can rotate an item by keeping press control for the right or the right mouse button. Let me know when you're done. There we go. That's pretty. That smell. That bouquet is called Sebastian's Eternal Home. That's my signature arrangement. I designed it after my husband's passing. A vows of fragrances that balance grief, love, and hope. To mourn what we lost. Love what's ahead. Thank you. Prepare to be sent. Those brothers are fools, fighting over something they didn't build themselves. Is that what happens when you die? People split up your remains? Lucky for me, I haven't built anything. Just waned other legacies, in any case. What does Sebastian want from me? Ooh. Good. That's good. Okay. Alright. Not expecting that. We're about halfway through this collection, and I have to say, um... I'm pretty impressed uh, with what I'm seeing with the the paths that these folks have gone down with uh, narrative driven gameplay. I'm 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 looking forward to seeing where the rest of it goes. I think that first one was a bit of a miss for me, but maybe I'll go back and give it a shot. But um, but yeah, this is good. This is really really good. Y'all should definitely check it out. All right, the bookshelf limbo. It's your father's birthday, and you want to give him a comic as a present. Enjoy browsing the bookstore. It's a very special and unique game. Our friend and amazing artist, Ivan, was visiting us in Valencia, and it happened to be his birthday. We asked what he wanted to do for this special day, and he said, A game together. So we did that. And to make it resonate even more with the original thought, we made a game about picking up a present for someone else. Since the process of making this game was a gift in and of itself, we tried to come up with an idea that was not only nice, but fun to develop. That's why we went with the designing collection of fake comics, so each of us could have fun experimenting and coming up with weird ideas. <laughs> I love it. Hi! I was looking for a comic for my father. I don't think he's ever read one that I know. Something short of... Uh, something short and self-contained would be ideal. That shelf? Oh, that looks perfect. Thank you. Oh. See this one. The Garden of Your Mind. <laughs> Twilight Books. Do you struggle against your inland empire? Is your internal dialogue indomitable? Do you wish you could keep those intrusive thoughts in check? Maybe you should stop fighting them and lose yourself into the Garden of Your Mind. Nope. Let's keep looking. Essays on Empathy. Three stories by the Deconstruction Creative Collective. Tackling themes as diverse as body horror and self-acceptance, ex oppressive dynamics in a heteronormative couple, and the struggle of a gay hitman working at a flower shop. Maybe this. Some of the content is a bit triggering. Let's keep... Okay. Sex stories. <laughs> Sex Stories is a self-contained comic book anthology, erotic, explicit, irreverent, funny, and liberating. We talk about sex, sexuality, and gender for, from diff totally different perspectives. Here you won't find the typical, and if you go in, you have to keep an open mind. For my dad, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that back. Keep looking. 
Golden Derelict. Father and son climb a remote mountain with the mission of restoring the family's old cabin. The waters around the place run gold and make flowers grow stronger and fruit turn fruit to turn out more savory. Drinking the golden water allows father and son to visit each other's dreams and connect in a way they never expected to. Sounds good. Maybe this one. What? Okay. Hold on. There, on second thought, maybe this is the one. I want this one. This is the one. I'll take this one. Yes, it's a gift. A sticker to add to the wrapping. Thank you for everything. I... Without stickers. <laughs> oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. That was, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you could remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video, each one goes a long way. A special shout out to the team over at Devolver Digital who allowed us the opportunity to showcase the game before it was released. Thank you so much. Until next time, take care.